Oh my goodness, I can't even start the bloody video. I've had it all kicking off. Welcome back to the channel. You people have spoken after the first two test modes with the new camera and I've listened. So it turns out that the whole following the head thing, it is too seasick. I noticed it when I was in the edit, but I thought I'm gonna put it out for the feedback regardless. And I still need to work on the color grading because I look like David Dickerson from Real Deal on the last one, as mentioned. And I've worked out from the edit, it is still better to do talking heads. So instead of me holding it around too much, unless I have to, which I will in a minute, then I don't need to. So thank you for your feedback, guys. I really appreciate it. It's... As I was saying, thank you for the feedback, guys. I do really appreciate it. It's what keeps this channel worth watching for you guys. As I said before, this is this channel's for you. I, I, you watch it more than I do. So I appreciate it. Well, I'm currently just testing out the Polaroid DVD player for Bertie Boo. I'm sure that's not your real name, but I do love it regardless. We've sold that over on Instagram for £24 all in. So Bertie, I do appreciate it massively. It's going to be a quick, easy sale for me. I've just tested it out. I've just gave a full test run video of it all going through playing with the DVD that I picked up from Mr. James Webster in 2020, I do believe. It's now my testing DVD. So again, thank you so much for that. I do appreciate it. I'm going to have a look and see if I've got any more sales that need to go out. And if I have, I'll pick them and go from there. Well, that was quick, just two going out over on eBay today. First off, do you remember I paid eight pound from this from a charity shop and I wasn't sure if it was gonna sell, if I'd spent too much money. I just took a risk and I couldn't find anything else out about it after either. I aimed 69.99, sent out a few offers and got a counter offer yesterday for 50 pound all in. I'll take it. It's an airbrush gun. I spoke to a friend of mine yesterday who does a lot of airbrushing. I wouldn't say he's a professional, but he really likes it. And he was like, never heard of it either. So who knows, maybe he's just doesn't, maybe he's just about as knowledgeable as I am. Eight pounds into 50 pound all in. Come on. And we've sold a Schleich, Schleich, Schleich Jersey cow. Or maybe it's just a cow. It's a cow. This one sold to Joe for seven pounds 50 and he's left a note asking me to tell Terry just how goddamn handsome he is. So Terry, you handsome devil. I'm sure you're a beautiful man. I'm gonna start doing cameo. Appreciate you, Joe, and you, Terry. Now, if I may say so myself, I did a very good deal on this one. This is a Musto t-shirt, double XL, but it is just one of the smartest t-shirts from Musto. It's got a nice little hit on the arm, nice little hit on the chest. Then when you come down to the hem, you've got an original Musto hit just there. And again, the same just here with a musto sailboat and just a, it's just a really really nice t-shirt i listed it for 1818 18, i think or 1717 17, yeah and it sold for like 1683 in a matter of two minutes i'm not even joking two minutes whipped up really nice t-shirt i guess i could achieve more on ebay but that speed for me the prices i pay for stuff that's kind of like one of those not a trade-off type of thing but I don't just factor into price. Where can I get the most money? I factor in money, whether it's the most or not. Speed, efficiency, lost procedure, returns procedure. And for me, when it comes to clothing, I just love Vinted, unfortunately. Not unfortunately, I just love Vinted. Some people love coffee, some people love tea. I love coffee, all right? We're all different. But you see, I have a job. Oh, come on. Hit the court. Oh, damn it, I've just ruined it. Oh, never mind, I'm not waiting all that time for a screensaver again. Basically, I have a job today, and my job is to clear this table, get all of that stuff there photographed, any of this stuff that's junk moved on. I've taken photos of the GoPro. If anybody's interested in the GoPro Hero 7 for £80 with free batteries and stuff, I'll send you all the photos across and any condition reports so we can go from there. And I want to get all of those phones that are there photographed as well. That is a box of vintage Lego. We've got a bag of Lego there and lots more vintage Lego, it just needs going through. I want that picture today. I want those speakers down there. I want all of those pictured today and I'll be happy with that if that's all I get done today. And a lot of it is down to the fact that I've got things that are just partially processed. Like I've taken them out of where they was being stored to take photos of and just not got around to finishing it. We all have things like that, I know we do. We've all got a little pile where we just start it and go, oh, I need to wipe down, I'll do that in a minute. Oh, it needs batteries cleaning out, I'll do that in a minute. And we just never get to it. <sighs> so that's my job today is to get all of that lot done. 
basically. It's a Saturday today. I didn't go to the car boot sale. I'm not asked. I might try and go to a Sunday one tomorrow, though. I'm really looking forward to going to one again. But the Saturday one at the minute in this type of the season, not bothered. Not bothered. I don't know about you, but our car boot seasons run till... Some of, one of them's finished now. Like two of them are finished now. And we've got one which is going to run till probably November, early December, which is like 45 minutes away. And then one which will probably be the same, which is about 20 minutes away. What about your area? I bet they're still rampant, aren't they? Bloody southerners. Me being a southerner, by the way. Right, I'll come back to you when there's something else going on. I've had a lot of requests for a how do you pay your tax as a self-employed reseller. So that video is coming very, 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 very soon. It's been about 40 minutes now and I thought it's about time to get this bloody thing sorted out. You would have seen it on the back shelf of mine for the last however many months. So all I'm going to do is marketplace this for about 30 quid if that. I tested it a little while ago and did actually have it listed once before. But I kept on getting like weirdos asking me to come and buy it. So I was like, nah. I'm very picky when I choose who I'll respond to at Marketplace. I'll check their profiles and everything first. I never just go, yeah, okay. I look at the profile before I respond. This is working, it's fully working. Everything's been tested, tested it with speakers, tested it through an AV system and everything's sound. So that will start giving me some space back on the shelf, which was just there. You'll see it in the back of all of my videos. It's always been there, just never been listed. Not properly anyway. So since I started recording this morning, I've actually been inside the house for the last 45 minutes. Ada has gone to her nana's and I had to wait inside because mum's gone off for a brunch, which just means gin in the afternoon, doesn't it? Let's face it. And then I've got a live stream tonight with Ayrton at 7pm, so make sure you tune in for that one. Hopefully this video will be out before then. If not, I'm speaking retrospectively. But while I was in there waiting for nana to turn up, I went through my vintage and reduced all of my items again. So head on over to there, some good bargains, especially if you scroll right down to the bottom of the page, some of the older stuff, because vintage don't normally show that up that often i even though i do spotlight my wardrobe every time it runs out so go and grab some clearance bargains over there if there's anything left by this time this comes out and then what i'm going to start doing is working on the how to pay your taxes as a self-employed reseller video it's one of my most frequent requests that i have so i've decided that's what i'm going to do for you so that'll be out quite shortly but in the meantime a very quick run through of how i do it is with quickbooks and boffix if you go into my description and scroll all the way down you'll find a section which tells you all about how i pay my taxes and how i log them and how i keep my receipts and stuff in a little link which will take you to boffix squarespace's website in there it will have a variation of packages all you need to do is read through it and see which one suits you there's a discount code, Ricky Lee 50 if you want to get 50% off of your first month. But they're already mega cheap anyway, so the fact that they're giving away discounts is unreal to me. But I'll do a full in-depth video on that in the coming week. But in the meantime, if you want to have a browse, go and take a little look in the description. Just scroll right the way down. Aaron's website's on there, his YouTube's on there, his Instagram, all those things. It's not difficult. It sounds difficult, but it's not. Because one of the biggest things that I get asked, which I'm going to highlight the most, is how do you prove and log cash transactions and car boot pickups when there were no receipts. So stay tuned for that one because I'm going to clear everything up for you. Not a massively long video today, but more of a what's to come kind of video. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Your time is more valuable to me than ketchup and I love ketchup. I can't eat a meal without it. Or mayonnaise. Condiments, I'm starving. I think I'm hungry, it's lunchtime. Catch you in a bit. Take care, love you, bye.